Hey y'all, it's Ebony and I am back to give you more advice on how to start or run your hair extension business. Y'all, I have been gone for a very, very, very long time and I do apologize, but I've just been busy with life and my new office space and there's just been so much going on, but I am back. I am starting a new series where I answer you guys frequently asked questions. So today, we're going to be focused on the top five websites that you can find a hair vendor on. I believe when it comes to finding a hair vendor, a lot of people overthink the process on how to go about actually finding them. Finding them is not the hard part. They're in your face and they're literally everywhere. But I think a lot of people just really overthink this part of the process. A lot of people think that the vendor is the secret key to success. Like as long as I have a good vendor, I'm gonna make millions of dollars. But honestly, it's not your vendor. It's really your marketing that makes you the most money. But obviously, having a good quality products and having a trustworthy vendor is extremely important. Finding a vendor is easy, but securing the vendor is the hard part. Determining which vendor is going to be the best fit for you and your company is the part that just can become very costly or that's the part that is just very time consuming. Anyways, that's a different topic for a different day. Today, we're talking about the top five sites on how to find them. So the first site, which is one you guys are already aware of because I already have multiple YouTube videos, which I'm gonna link up here um, above so you guys can watch them. But I already have multiple videos on this site. And the site is going to be Alibaba.com. So before I jump into Alibaba, I know a lot of people get Alibaba and AliExpress confused because they sound alike. So I'm just going to go ahead and briefly break down the difference between the two. So Alibaba is a company. It is a B2B company, meaning it's businesses selling to other businesses. So you have a wholesaling company, you have a manufacturer, you have a trading company selling products to other business owners. So really that's the main difference. Also with Alibaba, you have access to the entire world. So if you want to source something from Thailand, Russian, um, Pakistan, I don't know what you would source from there, I'm, I don't know. But just all over the world, India, anything from all over the world, you can find on Alibaba. Now with AliExpress, a lot of people are familiar with AliExpress. AliExpress is an extension of Alibaba. AliExpress is China only and is mainly for retail. So basically the business owners on AliExpress, they're not selling to other business owners per se, they're selling to actual customers. So it's a retail site. The prices that you see on AliExpress, I know you guys think that they're very low, but they're actually higher in price than what they will sell to a business owner. Business owners are able to get lower prices, but also another major difference between the two is on AliExpress, most of the time people get free shipping, but on Alibaba, we gotta pay shipping, and y'all know how expensive shipping can get. So it's really not the same. Also, a lot of the Alibaba vendors, they sell their lowest quality items on AliExpress. So oftentimes you will see um, hair extensions and wigs on AliExpress, but you don't realize that they're selling their lowest quality hair and wigs on AliExpress at a more expensive price. So a lot of people think they're getting a deal. They're not really getting a deal. A lot of people thinking they're getting the best of the best hair, but you're seeing, I don't know if you guys watch a lot of YouTube reviews, but you, this is why it's a hit or miss 
which is something you guys probably already came up to a conclusion with aliexpress is a hit or miss because it's just low quality hair and it's true sometimes they will see send their best quality hair to youtubers just to sell their lowest quality to all of the regular people that is a hundred percent true this is why aliexpress is a hit or miss if you're starting a hair company avoid aliexpress okay but those are the major differences now with alibaba like i already mentioned you're able to get the best of the better quality hair that a vendor sells and you're able to source vendors from all over the world it's a very easy website to use all you have to do is set up an account you don't need your ein number you don't need any of your business documents all you have to do is put some keywords in the search bar so basically just search what you're looking for scroll through all of the vendors you have available and you're ba you're able to pick and choose what vendors you want to work with and so the second website that you can source the vendors from and i know y'all gonna be like ebony i know you did not just say this website like i already know this but the thing is a lot of people overthink it and like i said the places for sourcing vendors have literally been in your face this whole time you like have been overthinking it so the second website is Google yes the google.com you can find everything you need in life on Google okay maybe don't use Google to search you know I have a cough what does it mean and Google tell you you're dying you know maybe not for medical related um, <laughs> issues and diagnosing yourself but Google is your best friend literally just search wholesale hair vendors um, wholesale wig vendors and you're gonna get 50 plus pages worth of vendor information a lot of vendors overseas they're paying so that they're able to show up on google okay they want you to find them also a lot of people a lot of vendors have websites and websites give you the option to utilize seo which is search engine optimization so they're making sure they got the seo um going on their website so that you're able to find them so you can definitely use google to find vendors one of my wig vendors can definitely be found on google they might be on the second page blink blink <laughs> <laughs> so don't sleep on google google is still your best friend just don't stop at the first page get to the 20th page see a lot of the times when it comes to finding the vendor a lot of people just want the vendor to fall in their lap you're gonna have to do the work you're gonna have to go through their websites you're gonna have to look at all of their pages get their contact information you're gonna have to message them see what they're about but a lot of people just want the process to be easy and they want it to happen within 24 hours but if you really want something you're gonna put forth the time and energy in order to have whatever it is that you want so it's no difference when it comes to finding a hair vendor so the third website is going to be YouTube yes you guys are already here on YouTube vendors there are so many different vendors that have YouTube pages and on their YouTube pages they're showing you their whole factory they give you a tour you're able to meet all of their workers you can see behind the scenes how they steam process hair how they process hair how they put the loose hair um, on the sewing machine and they create the webs of the bundles they have YouTube pages okay and you can actually see the hair they're showing you the hair they'll wet the hair they'll throw the hair they'll step on the hair child they begin to look crazy okay <laughs> But they are definitely here on YouTube showing off all of the different hair textures and types that they offer. So a lot of us, we might not have the funds to go overseas to fly out to China or to India, Cambodia, Vietnam, all of these different places to source hair extensions. But these vendors having YouTube pages, you're able to still see everything. You won't be able to feel and touch it until you actually purchase, um, you know, put in a sample order, purchase you a few bundles so you can actually test it out for yourself. But 
they're on YouTube, okay? Also, there are a couple YouTubers that reveal their hair vendors and that are giving away hair vendors. There are also a couple YouTubers that do reviews on hair vendors they have tested out. Um, so not only are you able to find a hair vendor on YouTube, but you can search up YouTube reviews and see what other people are saying about them before you send over your money to that vendor. So the next two sites that are really great for finding vendors are actually social media sites. Just like how we're on social media and we have business pages on social media and we're trying our best to find customers on social media, vendors are doing the same thing. They are on all social media platforms, but there are two platforms in particular that they are definitely on, okay? The first one is going to be Instagram. Yes, they have Instagram pages. They're constantly uploading their photos. They upload videos of their factories. Some of them go live, yes. They go live so that you can talk to them in real time and really ask them questions about the hair. Get them to show you certain things so if you were just ever hesitant about testing out their hair if you wanted to make sure their curly hair can be straightened if you wanted to make sure their body wave hair holds a curl they will actually go live and you're able to watch them show you all of those different things most of the time you don't even have to follow these hair vendors or wig vendors on Instagram, they will find you and follow you first. Obviously, there are a lot of things that you want to look out for when it comes to hair vendors on Instagram because a lot of them use pictures from celebrities, they use pictures from other hair companies to try to sell their products and services. So obviously, their pictures and their photos isn't of their real actual work. So you want to be mindful of that and really pick out and source the ones that are using their real legit photos, the ones who are really showing their hair and not just showing inspirational photos inspo type of photos you got y'all get what I'm saying so they're definitely there you can find them utilizing hashtags like I said they will find you half of the time um, but they're definitely on Instagram I have found my wig vendor um, on Instagram I have found eyelash vendors on Instagram and I found hot tool vendors on Instagram like the bling flat irons the bling um hot combs all of that good stuff I've also found um hair product vendors on Instagram as well and they have been proven to be really good vendors so do not sleep on Instagram and the second social media site which is the fifth site that I want to mention is Facebook y'all I don't I I think y'all really be sleep. <laughs> Facebook is just a gem all together. So with finding vendors on Facebook, yes, vendors have their own profiles on Facebook, but it's really the Facebook groups that are a true gem when it comes to finding vendors. So some vendors, they have their own Facebook groups, um, or there are Facebook groups that literally are all about vendors, sharing free vendors with each other, giving real reviews. So if one person tests out a vendor, they're going to go to the group and share their review. Another person tests out a vendor, they go to the group and share their reviews. So there are a lot of different vendor review groups on Facebook. And just like YouTube, just like Instagram, the vendors on there, they have videos, they have photos, um, they will talk to you. They There's one vendor, um, it's a girl, I feel like her name is Christina. I, I do not remember 100%, but she is such a gem, very knowledgeable. She'll tell you exactly how hair is sourced. She'll tell you how to know if hair is real version hair or not. Like she really will tell you anything you ever want to know. I have not tested out any hair from her, but the amount of knowledge that she's willing to give out is just amazing. So some of these vendors are definitely your allies. They want to help you. They want to put you on game. They want to tell you the truth about sourcing hair, what's going on behind the scenes, what you can trust, what you can't trust. So it's definitely a lot of that going on on Facebook. Also, like I said, it's a lot of people giving out their own reviews, sharing their own experiences. I actually found a really good curly hair vendor for it. Not curly. Was it curly hair? I listen. 
I used to sell these Italian curly wigs and they were super amazing. I'm not sure why I stopped selling them. Probably gonna bring it back. But I ended up finding that vendor because a girl that I look up to, a very phenomenal wig maker, a very popular wig maker, she posted in a Facebook group where she got the hair from, the vendor that she used. And y'all, I screenshotted it and I kept it and I found that vendor and that vendor does have amazing quality hair. I do use that vendor for some of my wigs. Their deep wave hair and their straight hair, I will use that for some of my wigs. So listen, do not sleep on Facebook. There are some really genuine people on Facebook that want to help you, that want to give you advice, that want to share with you. Also, in a lot of Facebook groups, a lot of these paid vendors lists are being shared in these Facebook groups. Now, I do not condone the sharing of stuff that you pay for because technically that's copyright infringement and I could never support that. But honey, the girls are giving the tea in these Facebook groups. So Facebook is definitely a great resource for finding vendors. So don't sleep on them, okay? <laughs> now don't click off this video just yet because I just gave y'all my top five website recommendations for finding vendors. There are still things that you need to know when it comes to finding a vendor, a good quality vendor. Finding a vendor is easy. All you have to do is utilize one or all of the five websites I just gave you. And you wanna create a list of vendors you wanna test out. You still have to test out the hair. You still have to know what to look for. You still have to know who your target audience is and the type of hair that they're looking for. You still need money and capital in order to buy the hair and test it out. So there's still a lot that goes into securing the vendor. If you guys need additional information on that and additional help, definitely head over to my website, sixfigurehairboss.com and check out my hair business starter pack because in the starter pack, I go over my exact steps for finding a vendor, my process of elimination, what exactly I do to find vendors on Alibaba. I record the entire process. I used to have an ebook where I gave you guys screenshots, but I decided to upgrade. I record the entire process, what I'm clicking on, what I'm searching, um, just the whole nine yards. I also walk you through finding vendors on Instagram, um, the ones that's in your DMs, how to determine if they're the best vendor for you or not. So if you guys need help with even just setting up your business, getting an EIN number, an LLC, structuring your business, figuring out if you're gonna do pre-order or drop shipping, keeping hair on hand, all of that good stuff, definitely head over to sixfigurehairboss.com and get the hair business starter pack. If you have any questions or if you wanna recommend the topic for the next YouTube video, put it in the comment section down below, okay? Also, stay subscribed because you don't wanna miss the rest of these videos that's gonna be in this series. And until next time, bye y'all.